Hi, welcome back to our interview series here at Reach Gathering 2016, and we are interviewing many of our pioneers and many of our associates within CSRM. Tim Adcox is with me right now, and Tim was one of the founding board members of CSRM many, many years ago. It was, in fact, a century ago. Almost. It was last, last, last <laughs> century. It feels like Tim, it. Tim, <laughs> uh, you also have been very involved in a lot of er other areas in, in the sports ministry world, but let's start with that CSRM. How did CSRM start? What, were the, what was the initial causes that brought CSRM to be? Well, we were uh, together, uh, we were in Atlanta, and there was a Sports Outreach America conference, actually it had been in Atlanta several years, and there was an invitation to bring the church people into that. Um, and as we were at the conference, we really felt like there really wasn't much for us. There was a focus on the elite athlete and some parachurch organizations, et cetera. And um, so a group of us that were there got together and just said, what should we do about this? And I remember we met in one of the rooms there. Uh, the group was trying to say, what is it that we should do as church recreators to pull together? And it was in that room where the idea of CSRM was born. There had been a loose association of people in the churches across the country and a little bit across the world, and yet this SOA didn't seem to quite be meeting the needs right. of that. And also the Southern Baptist downsized from some 30 or 40 staff down to just a couple, and people were worried. And, and you played a very pivotal role because you were kind of in both worlds. What was going on? Well, the deal was uh, the Baptists, as they maybe sometimes do, feel like everybody should have come to them, and uh, they would create an organization and then allow all the other denominations to be a part of it. Many of us in the room at that time, we were talking about that, and we said that's not the way for the body to be built the best. We felt that all denominations should be represented equally, and even in the bylaws as they came to be, there were some um, parameters that were put down to try and keep any one denomination from taking over the movement. So it was very much a kingdom view that brought CSRM uh, into the middle of that, and I was um, just challenged to be able to broker some of my Baptist brothers into that world. Well, I think God really used you, and you were a pivotal, pivotal piece of making that occur. And I think if the books, as they're written, that, that, that it'll show that Tim Adcox was divinely put in that position, and you played that role very well. And we would not be today, CSRM would not exist without Tim Adcox and, and what you did in those first first months. And, Talk to us a little bit about maybe some of the other people that were part sure. of that original board. Yeah, as we tried to broker this connection between the different denominations, we felt that we needed somebody that was really kind of a godfather figure almost in recreation to the Baptist, and that was Bob Sessoms. And Bob uh, graciously was able to give his influence to this organization. He literally wrote most of the books about recreation that are the first editions that people even learned what recreation was all about. His book was the first one I read. Yeah. And, uh, and I think it was called Church Recreation. He, he, Real creative title. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Recreator is not the best at that sometimes. But Bob was a, a sweet spirit, and he was able, he's gone on now, but he was able to broker that relationship and bring his influence together uh, to allow us to be what CSRM is today. So I'm forever grateful for the influence that he exerted in that area. And for many years, CSRM has had a, a Bob Sesson Award and you were awarded that and, and the recognition of what you've given to the sports outreach movement. And you've been at a church for a long time yeah, doing this. Yeah. Tell us about that. Well, I've been at Smoke Rise Baptist for over 20 years. I uh, made the transition from recreation into missions, but we continue to stay connected with CSRM and stay connected with the ministry really around the world. Um, many things that I feel God has placed in our path, an opportunity to be at the Olympics, opportunity to work with many of the people across the world. It's been just a tremendous value. And CSRM has been kind of the glue that has brought a lot of those relationships together. Because I do feel like the relationships are the most important part of being in CSRM. It is a chance to meet people that are here, that know exactly what you're going through, and you have a chance to see them year after year. And you don't have to spend any time kind of letting them know what your problems are because they're experiencing the same thing in their location. Yeah, it, it, it's like uh, we find ourselves and everybody else yeah. and we're experiencing that. You, you also have had some ministry through the Olympics. You've created Impact Basketball. Tell us about that. 
So as we were doing our ministry there at Smoke Rise, uh, we were doing just like almost everybody. We were trying to figure out ways that we could have a real spiritual influence. And we felt like after years of doing it that we really weren't making the impact that we wanted to spiritually in the lives of the people that were there. We also felt like we could use sport and integrate the spiritual teaching component more into the game rather than having a dichotomy of the two ideas. And so we really worked hard to create a structure that's based on the fruit of the spirit um, and trying to create different age groups that were appropriate to be able to communicate to them in their own age group and be able to allow them to experience a discipleship with an evangelistic model. And Tim, I, I know this because you came to us and said, we need to think about this theologically and philosophically and not just methodologically. And we did a whole symposium with some of the world leaders to talk about th the theological foundations for the youth sport participant. And you had the wisdom to see that ahead of time. And then you took all of that information and impact basketball. You birthed it into that in the brochures. And if you're watching this and you're looking for a great program, a great theologically based program for your youth sports, you need to talk to Tim. You need to get involved in impact basketball. And, and Tim, it's indicative, I think, this impact basketball is indicative of, of who you are and your legacy and that there are literally thousands of people around this world that have been impacted because you've been faithful. It's not always been easy. It's never easy in recreation. It's and, and, hard work. Yeah. And yet you have persevered through all these years. Well, On behalf of all those people, I just want to say thank you. Well, thank you for what you've meant to me. Thank you for what CSRM has meant to me. Thank you for CSRM being the catalyst to be able to spread the ministry around the world. All right. We'll come back with another interview. Thanks for being with us. Do you want me to switch it on now?